Hello everyone and welcome to another project order video. Today we're going to be solving problem 37. So we're given a number such as 3797 which has an interesting property. The number itself is prime. And if we continuously remove digits from left to right or right to left, then the remaining numbers are actually prime themselves. We're asked to find the sum of the only 11 primes that are both truncatable from left to right and from right to left. It's said that 2, 3, 5, and 7 are not considered part of that set. There's a clue here. It says that we only need to find 11 of these primes that match that set. So we can use that to our advantage because other than that, it doesn't really tell us the number that we need to end at. So let's get started. So I'm going to do what I've done in my previous video is create an interface. I'm going to call this one function and it's going to take in one method. I remember I said it can only take one method. Actually, this can be found in the java.util package, right? This is going to go ahead and take in an int. And we're going to go ahead and build everything in the main method. All right. So what do we need to solve this problem? Well, we need an is prime function call this one is prime and we need to go ahead and implement that you guys have seen me done this a couple of times already so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it as quick as I can All right, so we're done with the is prime implementation. So what we need to do now is figure out how to truncate from left to right or from right to left. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna say function. I'm just gonna say left to right first. And we need to take in the perimeter. Now we need to go ahead and implement our logic. So what can we use? Well, we need to delete numbers, right? One way that we can do this is use the typical way that we normally rotate numbers, but instead of rotating the number, just divide the number by 10. If you divide the number by 10, you're gonna truncate it from, right, from um, left, from right to left. However, we wanna do it from left to right. So this might work for the other one. However, it's just easier to just use string builder, right? Why kind of make things complicated? So let's go ahead and use string builder and call this str. It's gonna equal to a new string builder and we're gonna do a integer dot to string and pass in n. All right, so now that we have that, just create a temp variable here. This is for using the uh, is prime function. So we're going to say if, oh, actually, we're going to say while um, str right dot length is greater than zero. Then we want to do a few things. First, we can say that the temp is going to equal 
integer dot value of and we need to pass in str dot to string next we're going to say if right um is prime and then the function pass in temp and we need to reverse that so we're going to say that if it's not prime then we're going to go ahead and return false what happens if it's actually prime well we can just say str and then we're going to go ahead and delete the character at the location zero and if this passes then we can just return true all right so we're done with left to right now we have to implement um, right to left so I'm going to say right left it's going to equal taking the argument and we need to implement the body so pretty much it's the same thing we just need to we could just copy this actually and we can paste it here however we need to recalculate how we take off the digits because from right to left we need to take it out from the back so i'm going to say sdr right dot length minus one and that's pretty much it all right so here we're deleting the first uh character and here we're deleting the last character so let's go ahead and finish this off so what do we need well we need to keep track of the truncatable numbers that we find so far so we just call this one uh, truncates All right it's going to equal to zero then we need to go ahead and um, have an integer where we're going to start from so let's do int and i'm just going to call this one integer it's going to equal to nine well the reason why i'm using nine is because all of the primes above two are pretty much odd numbers so we can go ahead and increment by two and kind of skip the even numbers right then we need a sum variable sum is going to equal to zero so we're going to say while the truncates is less than or equal to 10. so why less than or equal to 10 well they said that you need to find the only right the only 11 of this type of numbers so we just have to keep going until truncate is equal to 10 right so we're going to say that if right left pass in the function and then you're going to pass in integer right and we're going to do a left right truncate right function pass in integer so if the number is both left to right truncatable and right to left truncatable then we need to go ahead and actually first thing is sum the integer so we're going to say sum equals to integer then we need to go ahead and increment the truncates so we're going to say truncates plus plus uh, if it's not then we need to go ahead and just do integer right plus equal to two all right so we're pretty much done all we need to do is go ahead and print out some so we're going to say slt and print out some so let's go ahead and run this and we should get the answer for this problem all right guys this is what you should get i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.